My best friend, Kevin, in Indiana, sent me these beautiful elderberry cuttings. What's that, about 10 of them he sent me? Yeah, look at that. He sent me 10 cuttings from his elderberry. Nice hardwood cuttings. They're starting to pop already. Look at that. Huh? Get a nice focus on that. Look at that. Yeah, it's trying, but yeah, let's, let's give you a good look here. Look at those babies. Now they're starting to pop already, so I need to get them in the ground. Now, since I've got 10 of them, I figure there's probably about five different ways I can plant them. Now, out here in my garden, I've got some pots here that I had started some fig cuttings in, and some of them didn't make it. So let's take a look at a couple of them here where I've got like an empty pot now, and I can put my cuttings in there now. Like this one, I'll take that. Now, that's still sitting here doing its thing. Still plenty moist. You can see I've got a <clears throat> got a drip line in here. We'll adjust to make sure that that stays in there right. I'm gonna take one of the cuttings, just shove it down in there, medium way. Oops, sorry about that, not focusing very well. Shove that in there about medium way. We'll see what happens with that one. Take this one right next to it. Pull some of that out of there. Pull that baby out of there. That's a nice, thick, strong looking cutting. Uh, jam it in there and leave it. That'll get plenty of water. We'll make sure of it. Adjust that so it's right there. Adjust this so it's over there. So it's just dropping water right in the right spot. And we'll see how these ones do. Now, onto the greenhouse. This reminds me, I'm gonna need to get some light in this greenhouse for mornings like this when I wanna be out here nice and early. So anyway, this is part of my aquaponic system. Video to follow on that. We'll talk about that and what we do with that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just, these are just a couple, I'll just root in water. And I've got an area, well, right here. Got an area right here that I can just kind of pop them in there. Gonna balance them in there a little bit. We'll see how they root. I'm not a huge fan of rooting things in water because then you gotta figure out how to get them in soil, and it's kind of a second issue that you have, trying to get them to root up and bind with the soil and all that sort of thing. You end up losing a lot of the roots. It's pretty delicate at that point, but, but some plants favor it, so I'll give them a shot, see how these ones do. All right, so now I'll take a couple more, and I'll just put them in the gravel bed of my aquaponics. That usually works pretty well. Just kind of dig excavate a little bit they got a place kind of for the roots to start growing the problem with this one that i found is that once they get up and grow they end up taking a lot more real estate than i would like and then i have to dig up my beds to get these things out of there all right i'm gonna throw the gravel back in there so okay so i've dug them in there covered them up We'll see how those ones do. I think they'll do well here. I just want to remember to get them out of there sooner rather than later. Now here's a method I hope that'll work about the best. I've got an area here on the east side of my house where I have a drip line coming out, a nice little spot that I think I could enjoy in a little elderberry tree. I'll have to prune it down to keep it small around this because I got a fig right there that'll do its thing. I've got a guava tree over here. I can show you more of that in the daylight sometime, but I think if I put these here and they grow, or one of them here and one a little farther over, and, I, and they grow right here, I think that might be about the best spot, and then they never have to have their roots mess with at all. So all I'm gonna do is create a little bit of a hole there. I can drop that baby in there, whoops, like so press the soil over it and make sure that that line stays about where it will do some good. I will go and get a little clothespin that I'll make out of wire and pop it down in there to hold it exactly where I want it. Right now the soil is nice and moist so I can do that later in the day. That's no problem. Got another spot here on the southeast corner of the house. Got a drip line set up. It's nice. Got a nice coil to it so as it grows if it grows, I'll be able to move it out away. So kind of wherever the roots are growing. So I will go ahead and get another hole going here. 
this is at the southeast corner of the house. So it has potential for more sun right here. I like to be able to compare a couple different areas like that. But this one here, not only has some protection from the house for afternoon, but also has this nice plum tree right here. So that should be able to protect it some. There we go. For my last method, I'm still gonna use the uh, aquaponic system here, but I'm gonna do it in a container like so, which I'll cut the top off of with some little scissors that I have, little pruners, right? And I'll fill them with some gravel like so. so it'll be soilless, just be filled with the gravel here. And I'll put it partially submerged in my system so that it gets regular water. But when the time comes to plant it in the garden, I'll be able to pull it out nicely without it having roots all over in my system. I'll show you that in a second. Oh yeah, let me see if I can show you how I make the cuts in the bottom. All I do is I take my sharp little pruners here. I'm trying to do this one-handed as usual. I haven't set up my chesty. And I just take it like so. Just give it a cut across three of these is good enough and I just push it in so so I have a nice hole there water can come in and out I'll do that on two more all right now I have my little pot prepared yeah three little holes there uh-huh there you go see see them like so I'll put my cutting in here and I'll dump the gravel in there to hold it steady and try to plant it about midway here to about there. There's the finished product. You need to go stick this in the aquaponic system here in a low spot. I'll just put it right here next to these two that I planted in there directly. What will happen is when the soil, when the water comes up, pardon me, when the water comes up on the flow cycle, it will water the bottom of that every time. For a few days, I might dump some in the top just, uh, just for kicks make sure that everything's staying nice and moist. I'll do that again with the other one. All right, so Kevin didn't send me all those just out of the goodness of his heart or as a token of our uh, enduring friendship. No, it was actually a cutting swap. Next video, I'll show you all the cuttings that I took of all my figs to send over to Kevin. Almost forgot. Um, like and subscribe, would you?